hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to make a pdf editor such as adobe acrobat so where you can just modify your pdf document with the shapes text images as well you can insert it inside the editor itself you need not have to write some code so this is the editor pick you can see here on my blog post so you can just write anything on side the pdf document draw links draw shapes as well of different colors you can change the brush size and font size as well and after that you can save your pdf document so this is the editor that we will be building all the source code regarding this will be there inside video description so this is the step by step blog post here so for this we are using jspdf fabric.js and uh, pdf.js libraries and uh, it is kind of annotation or modification of the pdf document so inside this blog post the link will be there inside video descriptions this is a single index.html file that you will need here so simply you need to copy this code here so this is a long file so as you can see here so simply copy all this code here right click copy and then just use your favorite text editor i'm using visual studio code text editor just make index.html file and paste your code here that's it control v so this is 734 lines of code is there so this is lot of code so simply this you need to paste it no external dependency is required so you can also embed this on side your website as well so right click open with live server so you will see this is the editor here so if i inspect element here so it is saying that the missing pdf exception because we haven't loaded any sort of pdf file so in order to load this you can download a sample pdf document so inside your case you can just use your own pdf file so so inside my directory so you can see i will go to the projects directory and let me rename to sample.pdf so save this so now you you will have this sample.pdf file so we simply need to load this inside the editor so wherever you will see you need to find the path here so here we need to change to sample.pdf here this is a path here so on line 635 this is a path that you need to change just write your own path in my case it is there inside the same directory so i will write sample.pdf so once again run this so now you will load your own pdf file here it only contains two pages so now you can edit this file here you can change the brush size accordingly you can select your color let me select red color here and this is a pencil icon you can write some text here as you can see this is written inside the pdf document you can underline something here like this so this is a very awesome editor without having to use any sort of third party software you can use this application and now you can also write something here like this this is some text so how easy you can see here just by using this you can also change color as well so if you want yellow color then again you can select this so now this is you can see this is yellow color you can also change the font size let's suppose i change to 72 and now you can see the font size will change here let me write something here so this is the font size is changed here if i again change to larger font here so you can see 
and you can also insert some shape as well so this is a arrow shape you can just insert a shape as well and then we have this rectangle shape as well like this you can do this as well and now if you want to insert some image you can use the image editor here so this will load an image as well so so you can see this is the image that we have loaded here all these images so you can place it accordingly whatever position that you want So you can change the width and the height by these controls here which are available so so you can also insert external images as well besides writing something here so I have shown you all that stuff so if I move to the second page so here you can just see so you just need to click on a specific page wherever you want to insert images write something here like this you can also delete this by using this delete dustbin icon that's it are you sure okay so it will delete that image so any individual element that you want to delete here simply click this element and use this dustbin icon to delete this and if you just click clear page let me just first of all save this so if you're done making changes you can just click the save button so it will save your pdf file so this is the modified PDF file so you will see now you can use this for printing purposes anything else after modifying it so simple save button is there so now if you want to clear out all the modifications simply click clear page are you sure then click OK so it will revert back to the original file so this is pretty easy and this is the PDF annotation data so whatever you are modifying the PDF file so it is containing inside this JSON response here and you can also change the brush size like this so this is a brush size is changed here so if you ha if you want to hide something here you can do this like this So if you save this once again it will save it like this so in this easy way guys you can just make this simple PDF editor where you can draw shapes write something with colors and also insert some dynamic text modify it and again save it so the link will be there inside video description of the full source code and I will be seeing you in the next video